Hi, Jake. My name's Tara. I'm going to be helping you out with uh, your consultation today. Um, so I guess we can start off. You can kind of give me a background of your experience with hair systems and kind of how you got here today. Sure. Yeah. Um, well, I have only been wearing this, I think, since like mid-May. Um, I saw a lot on like Reddit and just the internet in general about hair systems, like on TikTok, you know, all the install mm -hmm. videos. And I was yep. like, <gasps> I was like, I want that. Cause <laughs> I like, I started balding when I was like 20, 21. Okay. And yeah. I loved, like, loved having hair. And so yeah. it was like very like excruciating. And then I eventually was like, all right, I guess I'm just going to, you know, shave my head all the time. And I tried like the finasteride, the minoxidil. I tried like all these like little, you know, tips and tricks. And I grew like, you know, a lot of the crown back mm -hmm. and none of the front would come back. Oh, so no. I was like, <clears throat> so when I got my tax return this year, I was like, you know what? I'm doing it. <laughs> I was like, I'm, I'm pulling the, you know, I'm pulling the ball. I'm going to do it. This is a full French lace. Mm -hmm. um I'm a very sweaty person work out a lot I live in Michigan so it's extremely humid all the yeah. time yeah um so I do like it a lot because it's really breathable it's not hot I've never tried any other systems but okay. I know with me I just have like a very sweaty head like mm -hmm. everything like I could be outside and the only thing that will sweat is my head so <laughs> That, yeah, that makes sense. So yeah. you're probably looking to stay then with like an all-lay system? Yeah, or even like a modular would be fine, um, but definitely something that's just breathable. Okay, and do you know what size, there's my pen, do you know what size, uh, what size of an area you're, you're looking to cover? Um, I've been getting nine by six, and that's been working pretty good, yeah. Nine by six. And that works good. And uh, I guess the next question is, because you said you had a brown one and you also have the blonde one. Are you looking to do something different? Are you looking to do brown, blonde? What's your, what's your ideal hair color right now? So I went on the web, the Super Hair Piece website, mm -hmm. and I saw those new ones. And it's like the brown roots with the blonde, like brown with platinum. But I think that's a modular system, but I was like, oh my God, that is so cool. Okay, so, I mean, would you be wanting to try something like that? Yeah, I would be interested okay. in trying that. Yeah, absolutely. Do we have anything, do you know what color you're kind of looking for? Like the dark with the really light blonde, like this one here? Yeah, I think it was, yeah, it's like dark blue and like the platinum. I, th I think it was that color that looks really like the... For yeah color. there's that one right there oh, too. too yeah yeah so that really like contrast of dark and light yeah absolutely because it's like and especially when my you know roots grow on the side of my hair it'd be so cool to like switch between those systems but kind of want to do that look or you know switch back to the platinum and the great thing so this is the difference though obviously you're gonna only have the lace at the front the back yeah. is going to be more of that poly skin Mm -hmm. so keep that in mind you know like yeah. that that might be a little bit more warm for you because if you're saying that your head sweats a lot that that could affect it a little bit um sure. but the front is all lace so you shouldn't have an issue with that and what tape are you currently using well it would tape i use uh, the walker no shine tape i oh, had the cool. like ultimate extreme one but uh i noticed that one like because it's such like an intense adhesive Mm -hmm. That one's really annoying my head a lot. So, okay. and if I wore it for like more than 10 days, it would kind of like melt into the system. <laughs> I was like, okay. no, that makes sense. Yeah. So, I mean, it's an eight by 10, but I mean, you can customize it obviously to be a little bit like a nine by nine by six should be fine because it is uh, got that poly and that lace everywhere. So you really can customize it to any size you want. Now it's still natural hair. It still does exactly the same thing. Um, right. just so you know, I mean, sometimes to get that really light, light hair, that's what they have to use. It's better than synthetic. So, yeah, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, sometimes people do see, do feel the difference. Very few people can tell the difference though, but it's yeah, another like thing hair again. Hair. Yeah. Hair is hair. <laughs> Try it out. See again, see how you like it. I always mm -hmm. say, you know, when you initially get the hair, um, the hair piece, just literally take it out of the bag, take it out of the, take the, the mesh off of it, 
look at it, make sure you like it, feel it, touch it, all that stuff. As long as you don't right. wash it or alter it in any way or cut tags off or anything like that, you can always return it back to us. We can exchange it for something else. All right. Uh, do you have any other questions for me? I don't think so, no. Um, I actually kind of want to, like a question. So when you trim the excess lace in the front, mm -hmm. now yeah. do you have to cut it like directly up where the hairline is or you keep just a little bit like to that's a personal preference um okay. i find individuals that are gluing it down so if you're going to glue down yeah. a hair system um you can usually live leave a little bit of a lace some people like right. to do that to make it look more natural um right. but at the same time you know it it's if you're going to use tape i usually say go right to where the kind of hair is fuller everyone's right. different some people like to leave a little more so it kind of gradually goes into like little hairs into thicker hair some people like right. it right to the thick hair um mm -hmm. it's really about the individual's preference to tell you the truth yeah. okay cool yeah that's another thing it's to my girlfriend when i was putting this one on she was like oh you should keep like just a little bit of lace and then when i did it it was like doing that wrinkle that ridge wrinkle. oh yeah and i was yeah. like oh <laughs> yeah if you're gonna do if you're going to keep the lace then you're better off to glue it down with say like ghost bond yeah something like that, that. Yeah. and um and that's a really nice look too uh it's probably one of my new favorites i'm not gonna lie i have a lot of uh, we have a lot of gentlemen come in here and they're not liking the the, the fact that they can kind of see the tape whether they hear the hair back um so we've kind of reverted them a lot of them to just using ghost bond at the front uh, mm -hmm. Still having that, like maybe even just that first kind of inch around the front. Yeah. And so you're not doing the whole head. So it's still breathable everywhere else, but it gives a really nice, clean front hairline. So just something to yeah. think about if you ever want to try it. Um, I do have to reiterate though, too, we don't suggest that you bleach the hair. And yes. in the event you do, we are not responsible. <laughs> <laughs> responsible so, for whatever happens <laughs> we're not responsible um the reason for that is a lot of the time uh, all systems are, are chemically um you know altered like in in the actual factory already a lot of right. these pieces have already been bleached out so they've already right. been lightened um so you're obviously affecting the integrity of the hair so i always say it's on you if you decide to do it i don't suggest right. it i mean you can always tone them and i always say that too even purple shampoo sometimes if you find the the hairs is um a little bit yellow you can actually go in yeah. with a purple shampoo and that really won't do anything negative to the hair other than just kind of tone down that yellow and still keep it very yeah. blonde so that's another great way without actually going in with the bleach and and, and damaging the hair anyway yeah, yeah, yeah. Some uh, purple shampoo for this. And yeah. Uh, yeah, my girlfriend was like, maybe even adding just a little bit of like toner into it as well, just to like really like lighten it if you wanted to. Mm. And I was like, mm, we'll see. Like, um, yeah. Being a hairstylist and a colorist, yeah. uh, don't add toner to purple shampoo. Good to know. I'm like, yeah. Thank you. Purple by itself yeah. should be fine. Um, yeah. the biggest thing I always say is, I don't know which one you're using. We have a few of them here. So do you know what purple shampoo you're using? I'm using the matrix brand and they okay. also, yeah, they make that like hair extension stuff too. And I bought that shampoo and conditioner. So I've only been using the matrix purple shampoo and then I use the hair extension like conditioner afterwards. So if you use the purple shampoo, a lot of the times, if the longer you leave it on, the longer it's, the the better it's going to actually tone down the hair. Yeah, uh, yeah. Make sure it's wet first. Uh, mm -hmm. If by chance you leave it on too long and it goes purple, just wash it with normal shampoo yeah. and it'll eventually yeah. come out. Um, yeah. That's why it's good because you're really not going to screw up your hair versus if you're using a product like a toner or something like that and you don't mm. know what you're doing. Uh, those are right. actual chemicals which go into the hair cuticle and change the composition of the hair, um, right. which would be a lot harder to fix afterwards. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> um, do you have any more questions for me, Jake? Um, I don't think so. Okay. Um, well, we will get this all ready for you, and we will get that sent out to you. And uh, honestly, if you have any other questions or concerns, you can uh, talk to Daniela. She'll be more than happy to help you with anything, and uh, we'll go from there. Cool. All right. Awesome. All right. It was great to see you, and you have yeah. yourself a great day. Yeah, you as well. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.